So recently when I've been using Adobe packages, I've been seeing this pop-up thing everywhere. No matter what program I'm in, whether I'm in Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, there's this little pop-up bar that seems to just plague whatever I'm doing, whether it be that a selection tool, it's just there everywhere that I go. Um, so if you're trying to figure out how to get rid of it, this is how you do it. So for example, you just select something that it's popped up on, three dots, go to hide bar, and it'll completely get rid of the bar. Um, that's on all the different uh, programs as well. So if you're in Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, so hide bar. Or again, if you're in Adobe InDesign, it's, it's the same thing, it's hide bar. After I got rid of the annoying bar, I came across this sort of discover thing on Adobe and started to have a work through it. I was wondering, how do I get this bar back up again so I can start using it? So what I discovered was this. There are two places that this bar thing exists. There's this text to vector graphics panel, which is in window, text to vector graphics. You could use it there. However, what they've called it is contextual taskbar. So once you click on it, it comes back. Now, if it's annoying you, rather than it coming up every time, I found if I put it down at the bottom and I click on there and go pin bar position, it's only ever there when I want it. It's not just going to get in the way every single time. So if I wanted to create something, generate you know, dog on a skateboard, it will generate me some sort of AI. And when I do my text box, if I want to change the font size, I'll just do it normally and I can kind of ignore where this thing is down at the bottom, unless you really want to use it. But that's the same in every one of these programs. So that's how to get rid of the annoying sort of Gen AI text box thing that pops up inside all the Adobe packages. Hope you got something out of that video. If it helped, let me know in the comments. What do you feel about this Gen AI thing? Is it something that you're going to be using? Also, let me know. If you got some everything out of this video, hit like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in another video.